How long, Stephen, have you been driving and delivering the magazine? Uh, since about 2014. Yeah, I was asked to do it and quite happy to volunteer because I, I, I have to say before that it was a great thing to read and it, it had a massive, I really enjoyed reading the thing and so I felt, you know, it also helped me to meet up with other people as well and you know, get, to, get to know a bit more of the town as well. Oh, I'm absolutely thrilled to see it. There's actually people when they see you coming, they're, they're nearly waiting on the doorstep with their hands out, out to grab it off you. So they are. I really like reading the sports section because I'm kind of some, I'm involved in sport and it can be sometimes in it. You're wearing the common camogie jersey. That means yeah. you play a bit of camogie, do you? Yeah. Just generally go through. I, I generally flick through the whole thing from start from cover to cover. Uh, just at a quick glance, and then uh, when I get time, I'll sit down and start reading it, maybe from cover and to we're cover. We're here from Brothers of Charity Services in Ballinasloe. Uh, we're delighted to be part of the magazine distribution. We've been involved with um, delivering the magazine for quite some time now, um, mm -hmm. and we love just getting out and about, seeing some of the people that we know in the community, going around to the different estates, checking in with some of our neighbours, and yeah, it's a great uh, community uh, project mm -hmm. to be involved. And we especially like it when we see some of our pictures in the magazine, which happens quite frequently from a lot of projects that we're involved in. So yeah, we're delighted to be here today and looking forward to getting out and about and seeing some of our neighbours and handing out the magazine. So thank you for the involvement. Well, I think it's such a fantastic publication. Uh, you know, I, I just feel it's great to get it out into the community and to get it out not alone into the town of Ballinasloe, but out into the rural hinterland of Ballinasloe. So take great pleasure in joining the team every every two months and getting out the good good the good news stories of Ballinasloe. So we're absolutely thrilled to get it and very often I meet, I meet um, people who want an, an extra copy for somebody abroad or for, you know, for, for a neighbour who might be living outside the area. So you know, there's general delight uh, from people who, who, who love to get the publication and look forward to the, to the, the visit every two, every two months. Well, I think the surprise element is that you don't know what to, what to expect. There's something new every every every, um, every publication. But I think I think everybody loves to see you know a, a new a new start up business and something positive for the town. Something that's going to bring employment and extra footfall in, in, into town. So it's it's a, a really positive publication and it's it's great to see it going from strength to strength. And I look forward to being involved for hopefully many years to come. So it's always interesting to hear the feedback from those who we deliver the magazine to. It's always encouraging for those of us on the team who are producing and um, coordinating the whole project. And again, our thanks to all the volunteer drivers who we use every two months and our helpers. And indeed, we look forward, hopefully when pandemic conditions allow, to get back with the TY students of, of Garberley in, in the winter. So thank you very much. Keep up your interest and we look forward always to hearing about your reactions to the magazine. Thank